now in their effort to ensure that every girl child has access to education. The Tanzanian government is set to provide alternative formal education system for pregnant teenage girls. Over 6,000 school girls in Tanzania dropped out of school in 2020 over pregnancy, registering one of the highest pregnancy, teenage pregnancy rates in the world. Details of that in the report. Analia ameachwa na elimu, Iswahili 4, she is crying education left her. A song that is a powerful reminder for 18-year-old Martha of how she almost lost her chance at a good life. When she was just 15, she was expelled from a government school after becoming pregnant. The father was an older pupil. He remained in education unpunished. She was given a second chance at Kiwohede Open School a sanctuary for girls looking for another chance at education in an alternative non-government school setting. She has now been in the top three students and dreams to one day become a doctor. Others are forced to go to school by their parents. I'm here because of the pain I went through, because of what happened, what caused me to lose my education. I don't take this second chance for granted. Tanzania has one of the world's highest teen pregnancy rates. About 27% of girls aged between 15 and 19 are pregnant or have already given birth. Justa Mwaituka was affectionately christened Mama J by the girl she has saved from abuse and exploitation. She is a Tanzanian nurse, social activist and child's rights advocate and founder of Kiwo Hede. For over 20 years, she has worked to protect Tanzanian girls from sexual abuse and lack of education, which often forces many girls to exchange sex for school fees, food and shelter. She says the widely practiced ban on pregnant girls from accessing school is illegal. The education law didn't say anything about expelling a girl when she's pregnant. So what I'm saying, because of the traditions and, and norms, the schools they could expel a girl, the, the, the teachers at the school, they could expel a girl because that's how we were brought up. Now, the minister in charge says the government has set procedures to enable pregnant girls to continue with their studies. For instance, if she does her exam through this informal pathway and passes her, say, Form 4 exams, she will get the same opportunity like those who stayed in school through the formal sector. She stands a chance to get into any formal government school, depending on her grades. The government says it has successfully managed to meet the criteria that enabled it to get an international loan for a major innovation of schools in various parts of the country. The Tanzanian government says it will focus on building boarding schools for girls. The funding for the project is part of a $500 million education loan from the World Bank. Each school will accommodate 1,000 students. Details on how the reentry program will work are being worked on by the Education Ministry. But people like Martha and Mama J see this as a step in the right direction. A second chance at education should help girls become more economically stable, make more informed decisions and create a better future for generations to come.